Hey friends, um, I wanted to pop on here today. I was really excited. I received some goodies in the mail. Now I have one of my plants that came on Friday, which today is Monday. So last Friday it arrived and I did a video and I didn't like the way it turned out. And so I have one unboxing. Now another plant is supposed to show up today but it hasn't arrived yet. It was actually tried, someone tried to deliver it yesterday, but we were not home and we have two feet of snow here in Washington right now. And so they did not want to leave it at the cold. And I was like super bummed out. And I was like, no, can't I go to like the mailbox area to pick it up? And my husband was like, no. But um, so I'm hoping that will arrive today. So this video might be um, split in two, but it'll all look like one because I'll put it together. Now I wanna show you the first plant I got. Now I already um, opened this one, but this I received, this little beauty. A lot of you will know who are plant lovers, who are following me, will know that this is a zebra plant. I've heard good things and I've heard not so good things about this plant. I have heard that it is difficult to take care of I also heard that it's pretty easy to take care of. What I have heard are just different things. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on all these plants. I am picking them up because I like plants that are pretty, that are striking, and I'm very drawn to unique looking plants. I love the Calathea family. I love the zebra family, and there is a name for this plant family and it starts with an A. Alphilandra or Alphilandra? I'll link it down below. I ordered this one off of Amazon. It's supposed to be unusually white zebra plant because a lot of them are um, kind of look like this but the more they mature the little bit darker the green gets and then it keeps its white veins or white variegation. I'm still learning the lingo on plants because remember, I am not an expert. I'm not going to pretend like I am. I'm just beginning. And if you've seen my last beginner's video, you will see that I am truly beginning at the very like bottom. So by the end of 2018, I would love to have 100 houseplants in my home. And people have laughed at me about that and have kind of teased me about it, but the reasoning the reasoning behind why I got into plants, I'll tell you this story in another video, but I was mainly searching for plants to clean and purify my air in my home. Now I love everything green, not like plant green, but my beauty, my skincare, my cleaning, my essential oils, um, just everything that's going to benefit the health and the well-being, sorry, my nose is running, the well-being of my household, my kids. When I had my son and found out he was autistic, I know I'm going on a tangent, but this is why I'm into plants now and the love of natural green plants, green beauty, green everything, cleaners, essential oils is because my why is a lot of the time it wrapped around to take care of my son and then his gut health and then essential oils and one thing led into another and this is why I am now collecting plants and I will go into that with like I said another video but this is my zebra plant I got in the mail now this one was from Amazon I'll link it down below like I already said um it came a little damaged now that is the one kind of iffy thing that happens and kind of risk taking when you order off of any kind of a website that you're gonna get your plants shipped and this one was damaged two of the leaves down below I picked them off I don't know if you're supposed to do that but they were wilted they were not living they were crispifying and so I knew that they were dead so I plucked them off of this main stem in the middle here there's probably a scientific name for it but I don't know it quite yet 
I'll pick up all this lingo once I do more research and watch more videos because I love plant videos as well. Um, but it came pretty nice. I mean, it's alkal or not alkalizing. It's um, adjusting to the weather here and my house temperature. And I've been doing little tricks and hacks here and there that I have learned with creating humidity and heat in the home. Now this, what I've learned about this plant so far is that it loves, loves, loves water and to keep the soil moist and to be in bright light. Um, I keep all my plants right now in my kitchen. I think I'm going to keep my plants in the kitchen for now, collect as many as I want in that area and then move down into my home where it goes into my living room, David's room, my son, then to the office, and then Charlie's room, and then my bedroom, and then the bathrooms. So, all right, so this is my zebra plant. Now, it does feel like it needs to be watered. I also keep it on a tray full of pebbles and a little bit of water down below. Now, this is what I learned here on YouTube, but that is what I do in my kitchen, and I'm keeping it on its little tray. Now, I'm it's soil that it came in is still kind of moist feeling, but I want to pop some little holes in there with like a pen and then water it just a little bit each day. We will see how that turns out. And then I have my package. Now I got this right before I went to my therapy appointment and that's probably why I look like the way I do, just kind of rough. Who wants to look like prim and proper when they go to a therapy appointment? Um, Oh my word, I had a knife here and I don't know where it went. Come on, Em. Where'd you go? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's right next to me. Um, I'm gonna crack this open. I started opening this in the truck on the way to my therapy appointment. And then I was like, wait a minute. I need to open this up on camera with all my friends. So. I believe this one is going to be my philodendron Brazil. I was really excited about this. I follow Hannah from Tropical Plant Addict. Super beautiful woman from the UK. You should look at her, check her out if you haven't yet. And then I follow Summer Rain Oaks, and then Crazy Plant Guy, and Plantarian, Plantaria, or something like that. Really cool blonde lady. Packaging. Oh boy. It always comes, and I don't like this. I know this is totally a side note. I hate that all these plants are covered in styrofoam. Styrofoam's not good for us. But what are you gonna do? It's all they can probably pack with. Okay, hold on, hold on. So I got a this Brazil because I saw, first of all, the crazy plant guy, Christian who had this and he had bought one. Beautiful plant, it's the colors of the Brazil flag. Beautiful, I love the philodendron family. I love the Syngomian, Syngonium family. Those are beautiful, those are on my wish list. I have a ton of plants on my wish list. I adore the Pothos family, which is Devil's Ivy. There's like the satin, um, silver satin, satin Anne, the neon one that I saw, they just call it neon. And the, that's in the Devil's Ivy family. And then I love Moonlight, Pothos. I like the Lime Zinger, which is not in the Pothos family, but it looked like a trailing plant. I love all trailing plants and anything that looks tropical. I love the Calathea family, like I mentioned. I love it. Just really beautiful, striking plants. I know, I'm a talker. I know, I know. Um, okay, so we'll see because this other one was a little damaged when I got it. Let's see here. Oh my word, they really package this guy up. Okay. So here's what he looks like. This guy's damaged, yeah. Come back. So I'm going to leave the plastic on for now. I have dirt on my carpet down here. Um, but this is what my philodendron... There's soil everywhere. That's what I hate about shipping. I know. Um, 
this plant was on its side and I'm like, I wish that they could mark that these are plants and not to tip them over. But I'm actually pretty happy that this came in a hanging basket because this is, I'm wanting to put these plants inside of my bathroom, but I'm afraid my bathroom doesn't have enough humidity and warmth in them. I don't know, we will see. And then back here in my room, it gets really chilly and I know these plants don't like to get too chilled and they like humidity. I don't know, please suggest something to me or what I should do. It's winter time here in Washington. But this is what I ordered. I wanted a philodendron Brazil. I'm going to take off this plastic and dump, oh, the soil's getting everywhere. Um, take the plastic off and then I will show you pictures. And I'm going to link everything down below, the information and the care. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you're already a plant lover and you're gonna be knowing this stuff already. Um, but just in case you don't, I'm going to and then I will pop it back on here once I get my fiddle leaf fig today in the mail now it could take up to tonight until eight o'clock and it's only like two o'clock right now but I will see you then and I will finish up Sorry this about video. that this is actually a day later my fiddle leaf fig did not end up coming in until today which was kind of weird to me because not yesterday but the day before they tried to deliver it on a Sunday and they just said that there was an attempt made to deliver it and they didn't, so I was expecting it yesterday. And then today in the mail, it was like, today's de the delivery day or delivery is expected, arriving, whatever. But um, this is going to be my fiddle leaf fig. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, this is just a continuation of the same video, but I did the other, the zebra plant and my brazil philodendron yesterday haven't even opened this bad boy yet here's to hope and this is so this plant i know requires very very bright light and you're gonna have to also apologize um i'm gonna apologize i have a hair mask in right now so if my hair looks all greased up and functified that is why okay <laughs> lovely styrofoam <laughs> So, eh. <laughs> hopefully this one last time FedEx delivered my snake plant my snake plant was all jacked up the soil was everywhere half my plant had came up up out of the planting box good thing that the snake plant still had its roots on its bottom I know that that's a pretty hardy plant but I'm kind of nervous because the fiddle leaf fig is expected when it's in a new climate to drop its leaves and I'm kind of nervous for this plant. I think I'm more nervous about this one than my, my medallion calathea. I think I have the calathea down to an art for now <laughs> until I get my humidifier. Okay, let's see here. So here it is. Oh, the bottom is like wet. Okay. And there's, of course, soil. That's okay, I have a vacuum cleaner. Okay. So, oh yeah, he is like damaged bad. Some of his leaves are still okay. There's one that is not gonna survive. It's gonna drop a leaf. Okay, so. There's another one that might go too. I'm gonna have to nurse it back to health. If you have any, any information for me whatsoever, please, 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 please don't hesitate to show me, write to me, tell me. You can find me on Instagram at Alum Life. That's I L L U M period L I F E. Alum Life. Oh, soil. Yep, soil's everywhere. He's got one good leaf. These guys might hang on. Probably not. Uh, All together, he's alright, I think. Um, he's got plastic down around his soil. 
Um, but after I show you what he looks like here on film. I will go back over. I reorganized my kitchen today and I brought out some, yeah, this guy, he is completely like wilted and dead. You see that? He's just not even hanging on. It's probably because it's really cold here. Like I said, I think I mentioned this in my last video from yesterday when I was unboxing, we have like two feet of snow here and this is probably why he's I mean, he looks lifeless, except this guy right here. They all look lifeless. Man, I do, I'm sorry, I don't like FedEx. Every single thing that I've gotten from FedEx has died. Like, my leaves are all gonna drop. Look at this. Fiddle leaf figs are not supposed to look like this. This guy's gonna drop. I'm pissed, I'm sorry. I'm not happy right now, yeah. Look at all these guys, they're all dead. They're all wilted. They're all drooping down. I'm gonna lose all those. There's one leaf on this freaking plant. Um, I'm gonna leave him like he is. I'm gonna undo his plastic and then I'll go back over and show you what I've done in my house today. Um, this might be the last time that I, I don't know. This might be the last time I order off of Amazon because I spent, I think this guy was 18 or $20 for him. This just makes me mad and I think I'm just gonna start going to a lot of the tropical nurseries around my house because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, there is, these leaves are dead. Do you, I mean, you guys can see that, right? In the picture that they showed me, um, this fiddle leaf fig was all upright, it was beautiful, it was healthy, and then FedEx delivers and, um, they arrive, my plants looking like S-H-I-T. And I know that's kind of um, not a good word to say and I'm usually not a big cusser, but it, it just makes me mad. I feel like I just wasted money. I don't know. Please tell me what you think. Can you please, like, if you are a plant lover, would you just let me know, is there still life in this plant? <laughs> I mean, obviously right here, this guy looks nice, but I might lose him too. So if the roots are strong, I'm hoping that he'll come back. But he's sad looking. All of his leaves, all of them. Not happy. Anyways, meow, I'm usually not a negative person, but man, I was looking really forward to him. So I will get back on here and just show you what I did on the positive note to my kitchen. And then I will be talking to you guys in another video and another unboxing this for february i'm done with my plants for now like i said it's a save month for us and then in march is my birthday and i am going to go balls to the wall crazy um at the nursery and i'm gonna do a vlog or like a little video of me going through um one of the nurseries close by my house so I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I'm signing off. You'll see me recording, you'll hear me maybe talking or it might just be a little little clip of music in my plants. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, I love you all. So this is what arrived in the mail. I'm really, really like irritated and pissed off. Sorry, my children are around right now. Um, Yep, that one leaf that was standing up fell down. So I don't know what to do. I don't know just to throw it away. I want to write the person who sent this. And also, I want to write FedEx a letter to see um, what they can do about this. They completely wrecked my plant. Do you see that? This is supposed to be a fiddle leaf fig. So I'm kind of irritated. But on the other note, here is, that's my kombucha that I brew for gallons. Do you think I do enough? And then here are my other plants over here. I showed you this one yesterday, which is now like today. And there is my zebra plant. And then here is my burgundy rippled leaf peperomia. And it looks like little mice are like diving into it. I think that's cool looking. And there's my fern, once again, there's my new guy, 
my philodendron Brazil. My keep little cups of water underneath there for humidity. But that guy came beautiful. This guy right here, the zebra plant, came only with two um, wilted leaves, so I just plucked them off. But other than that, he's doing really well. That guy over there seems to be doing really well. He's so pretty. And then over here in my corner, I've got my peace lily, beautiful plant I got from Hertz. Hertz Gardens is amazing. And they packaged him so well. He came really pretty. There's my Calathea medallion. This guy looks so much more healthier than what he used to look like. If you saw my previous video, all of those leaves were wilted, curled in, and I've been boiling water on my stove, which has been helping a lot with the humidity, and he has loved it. And there's their little pots. There's my golden pothos. He's doing really well. He's also got a guy right there growing, so he's doing good. They're so pretty. I love trailing plants. And then there is also from FedEx came. All this guy's soil was uprooted um, or all over. Um, this guy, which I don't know if he, sorry about the shaking. This part of the plant back here looks like he's dying and hit, like it's deformed now. It never used to be like that when I first got it. So I'm wondering if he's dying back here. This is the part that came out, that was out of this planter when it arrived. So I don't know whether it's shipping from FedEx or if it's the people who package these plants. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. So I kind of just makeshifted a little area. I'm redoing that guy right there. I'm gonna be refinishing it. Yeah, let me know what you think. My ghetto cart table, we're buying a new one. So sorry about the noises. That's it. So I will be talking to you guys soon. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.